Good afternoon. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Kafka Summit 2020. Today, I have with me Banu Soledi from Lowe's, and we're going to talk about event streaming at Lowe's. So, welcome, Banu. To get started, maybe you can tell us a bit yourself, Lowe's, and what do you do there, Lowe's? Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Thank you for this opportunity, June. So, Lowe's is founded in 1946, and Lowe's grew from one small town hardware store in North Carolina to one of the largest home improvement retailers in the world. We are committed for the homeowners, renters, and the pros to improve their homes and the communities and the businesses. Together, we deliver the right home improvement products with best service value across every channel community we serve. Every aspect of our business and strategy is rooted in this direction. If you talk about the numbers, we have like around 300K Lowe's associates that serve the customers and communities. We have like 18 million customers that we serve every week. And we have made around $72 billion of sales in 2019. And we heavily invest in our communities. Around $42 million have been invested in 2019. And recent pandemic, we have invested around 30 million. At Lowe's, I'm responsible for the roadmap and strategy of enterprise integration and API management. Focused on multiple integration technology stacks that integrates all different kinds of applications from modern to legacy present across Lowe's data centers and various cloud providers. Kafka platform has been one of the key area that we have been heavily focused on from last two years and to enable real-time event streaming architectural patterns at Lowe's. That's great. So uh, could you tell us a bit some of the use cases of uh, Kafka at Lowe's? Sure. Um, so we heavily use uh, Kafka for real-time event streaming platform, as a real-time event streaming platform. So we would want Kafka to provide us highly scalable, durable, and reliable infrastructure for us to onboard all business-critical use cases. So we needed a real-time event streaming architecture to improve the time to market for new apps and reduce the time it takes to stand up and build new clusters and transform a couple of key use cases. Confluent platform is really helping us, enabling us to move the data in more flexible and reliable way. At Lowe's, we are, Kafka is becoming a very core component and a vital platform to connect our systems, to move the data across data centers, and across the cloud platforms on-premise and the brick and mortar stores. So our digital business is completely based out of microservices and running in GCP and the orders get generated or events get created in GCP. And But our order management and fulfill, fulfillment systems are present on-premise. So we have to move this data across the cloud to the data center. So, so that we can fulfill the orders. And once the orders are fulfilled, we have certain kind of orders where customers want to pick up from the store. So buy online, pick up in store capability. So we intimate the store associates about the order events via Kafka to every store for the customers to pick up. And we have federated majority of our Kafka clusters for all critical line of businesses and depending also upon the network topology. So we have a very clear delineation between the business and the transactional data that we have at Lowe's. That's very impressive. Um, how did the car get started at, the, at Lowe's? Um, you probably have like different choice of technologies, you know, why Kafka? That's a very great question, right? So for a retail business, uh, we have um, we, we need to be more agile. We need to have real-time systems so that we can give the real-time snapshot to the customers, right? So we wanted to have uh, event-driven architecture across the enterprise. And Kafka has is one of the key component as part of this. Traditionally, we have been leveraging the messaging and streaming messaging platforms. And right now, we are moving away from the traditional messaging platforms and getting into more event-driven streaming platform like Kafka. And there is a lot of growth with respect to microservices-based architecture. So Kafka becomes a very key component as, a, as part of it as well, which provides decoupling across many services. And click streams, 
data replication across the cloud providers and on-premise. And we also leverage for logging and monitoring related capabilities and streaming use cases across the enterprise. Okay, so I guess a big part of reason is just to be able to to be able to offer the kind of scale of kind of digitized information you guys had to deal with. Yes. So uh, maybe you can share with us like a particular technical challenge that uh, you have solved, you know, with the usage of Apache Kafka. Sure. So one of the critical challenges that we are trying to solve in very near term is how do we provide a seamless data movement between our on-premise and the stores? We have more than around 2,000 stores, and we need to, every store is considered as a mini data center. There would be tons of events that get generated in every store. Now, these events need to come to the centralized on-premise applications. Right. So we traditionally we have like around 200 to 300 file transfer jobs that occurs every day, every minute within uh, the store. Right. So we are moving away from those batch mode and getting into more real time streaming. So this is a critical challenge that we are going to solve in near term. And right now we are managing our own Kafka clusters. So there is um, so that is also one of the uh, you know critical challenge that we have to overcome in near term. Yeah, I think moving from batch to real time, I think that's a thing, right, in a lot of the retailers and uh, just enterprises just in general. Yes. Yeah, any other sort of interesting use cases, you know, challenges uh, you have solved with Kafka? So uh, I can, so they're typically retail use cases, like from order capture to order fulfillment. So as I mentioned, our dot com business is completely running in GCP with uh, in a microservices based architecture. So the order capture happens in GCP and our order fulfillment happens in on-prem. So we use replicators to replicate the data from GCP to on-premise and vice versa for certain use cases. And similarly, we also send these events to every store for buy online pickup in store. That's one of the most critical use case that we have in Kafka uh, as part of the Kafka ecosystem. And generally, if you speak about other retail specific uh, use cases, uh, you can you can consider like product, price, inventory. And we uh, traditionally, we have been heavily leveraging uh, MQ and uh, uh, ESB and ETL platforms. And right now, we are moving more towards real-time event streaming platforms. It's not that we are uh, the ESB or the ETL platforms are going away, but it's just that uh, we are more streamed towards you know event driven architecture. And uh, apart from that, there are many uh, use cases that we have recently solved during the COVID period uh, with respect to workforce management that we have. Uh, basically, store hours, location, store hours, and also uh, building real time analytics dashboards for store associate, associate schedules. Um, for the people count and uh, promotions, etc. Yeah, that's good. You mentioned the 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 scale of the the organization you have to deal with, right? Lots of like uh, data centers, you know, lots of like retail stores, and uh, and lots of legacy systems. That sounds like a pretty complex ecosystem you have to build around Kafka. So, what are some of the yes. challenges you face there, and how did you overcome that? Yeah, definitely a um, lot of data centers and uh, mini data centers, as I said, every store is a mini data center. And we are also into multi-cloud strategy as well. So we have to have this hub and spoke model for us to uh, have the data moving across all different, uh, you know, regions, uh, multi-region within the cloud as well. So at close, uh, we are kind of trying to provide the capabilities around, uh, you know, making sure that the Kafka clusters are secure, highly available and high throughput, low latency, uh, reliable and providing a durable fault tolerant and capable of handling high volumes of transactions of for data streaming and moving the data across the data centers. And majority of the use cases that as I've told is replication, microservices based architecture and also uh, the latest use cases that we are trying to solve are stream processing using case streams and case equal. Um, we wanted uh, also to enable data governance across all the data that is getting streamed across the uh, the Kafka ecosystem. So uh, one of the uh, benefit that we are trying to move away um, basically 
Uh, we are trying to solve a bigger challenge of uh, proprietary tools moving away from uh, cost-based applications and highly complex and highly uh, cost um, uh, co tools and moving to more open source uh, uh, tools. So like, uh, for example, Elk, we are getting very, very, we are heavily investing in Elk and Kafka is going to play a very critical role in, uh, you know, ingesting the logs into Elk. Um, so that would uh, basically reduce our overall spend and overall, um, you know, architecture, improve our architecture as well. Ah, okay, that's that's good to know. So overall, how, how did you make make sure the adoption of Kafka is uh, successful at Lowe's, you know, and other things uh, that you feel the community has helped you along the way? Yeah, it's more uh, to do with the microservices architecture. So we started uh, we started this journey around two years ago. We were able to get onto the Confluent platform and we were confident enough that uh, the Confluent platform is very close to the, the open source distro and they don't make major changes to the open. They, they provide the same distro for open source as well as the support model, right? Uh, um, and the ease of installation, ease of configuration of the Confluent platform also helped us to scale much faster and uh, provide the solution uh, yeah, at a scale. Um, so we uh, we also leverage a lot of other capabilities from Confluent. If you see the replicators, connectors, um, we also are getting into the case streams, case SQL use related use cases. And apart from that, uh, the one of the important aspect for us to have a successful Kafka ecosystem is to have a uh, you know a diverse and well versed uh, DevOps model. So um, Kafka Confluent platform provides us the platform as a service and self-service options as well in certain use cases. And we have also done a lot of customization around the Kafka ecosystem to make sure it, lo it gets lossified and uh, we are able to uh, enable the capabilities that lowest customers would require. All right, good. Yeah, it's good uh, to hear that uh, Confluent uh, has been helpful here. Um, uh, what about the, the, the platform? You know, you, you have, how important do you feel is that integrated event streaming platform to retailers like Lowe's? Definitely, it is very much important in the current world, right? So, for example, if you go to um, either, we want to enable this omni-channel experience. So either you shop online or shop on uh, in the stores or call center, anywhere, right? Like we want this order to be much more uh, fulfilling experience, order capture, uh, the way we are going to uh, interact with customers and all that. So uh, definitely customers look for much uh, real-time uh, um, related um, events in the sense uh, let's say if I just purchased and you know, purchased something, some products from Lowe's, they would like to see the receipt immediately. They would love to see an SMS. They would love to see an email coming uh, immediately saying that, okay, this is your order. This is the status of your order. This would be the shipping details, all this, right? So how do we enable all this? Without, without having this event streaming platform, it's very tough for us to enable this kind of experiences for our customers. So yes. uh, yeah, apart from that, the uh, like there are certain other things like uh, we would uh, like to have from the Confluent platform, like replicators and connectors that are very important for Lowe's because we don't invest time in reinventing the wheel. Uh, the components are already there. We can, it enables us much faster and speed to market kind of. Yeah, I think uh, being real time, being able to provide those uh, real time responses to users, right? That's going to offer like much greater uh, customer experience. Yes. Did you guys get impacted by COVID-19? Yes. Uh, actually, um, it's a, a great impact to the whole community uh, and the world, right? So Lowe's is playing a very critical role in, um, in helping the communities recover th from this COVID. And definitely Lowe's is also impacted. The whole uh, business is impacted. Uh, but uh, one positive side of that is there is a lot of business to lose because uh, um, the communities are at home, they want to improve their homes, they want to make much more beautiful uh, backyards and all that. So now there's a lot of uh, important business that is happening for Lowe's and other retailers. Great, okay. So just uh, one last question, you know, any like final thoughts, you know, experience, advice you want to leave uh, with our audience? Sure. Um, 
So as we, as I said, like uh, we started this journey almost two years ago. We have started uh, very small. We started with one cluster, uh, which is uh, which is very small. Like I would say, a fine old cluster uh, with both zookeeper and um, broker. Uh, but we matured a lot. Uh, we have uh, stabilized the system. We were able to understand the use cases. We were able to get into the integrities of uh, the Kafka ecosystem, understand much more in detail. And then we were ready to accept much and more use cases within the um, Lowe's uh, um, business areas, right? And then we also started focusing uh, upfront about how do we uh, uh, basically differentiate uh, the data between analytical data and business data, and also what kind of criticality uh, the data classifications is also important, right? And also uh, what we have done is uh, the federation of the Kafka clusters. Federation of the Kafka clusters is really important for us because we support multiple critical line of businesses. So we have um, uh, Kafka clusters right now after the maturity, we are able to enable this Kafka cluster federation across on-premise as well as in uh, other cloud providers. And we also have uh, uh, certain PCI related uh, Kafka clusters as well, where we uh, deal for the payments, tokens and all that. So what I'm trying to say is start small, um, gain the maturity and then uh, start building on top of it okay so if you ask us what is our goal for next couple of years we want to definitely um, you know create a ring between all our on-premise data centers stores and uh, different cloud providers so that we need to provide a seamless platform for all the communities within the lows or all the product areas within the lows so that they can leverage this platform to stream the data in real time across the uh, data centers. And uh, how do we enable that? Uh, I, I feel like stretch cluster uh, is one of the important capability that we have to look into after Thanksgiving, uh, which would provide us multi-region support as well as auto uh, failover. Uh, apart from that, we are also planning to enable um, the enterprise data catalog, which will drive the governance aspect of uh, the data at Lowe's. Uh, we are also leveraging schema registry. So um, schema registry is also going to play a very critical role in data governance aspect. Um, lastly, I would say like um, uh, we we are heavily focused uh, to move away from uh, proprietary technology stacks and get into more of an open source based. Uh, uh, open open source based systems and applications. So uh, one of the aspect of that is uh, the enterprise logging and monitoring framework, which we are planning to enable leveraging Kafka as a uh, ecosystem, uh, Kafka platform, using Kafka platform. Yep. All right. So with that, uh, thank you, Bano, for sharing your experience with us. I wish you continued success in adopting Kafka and the event streaming platform at Lowe's. Thank you so much, June and Confluent team for giving me this opportunity to talk uh, in this uh, summit. It was a real great experience uh, leveraging your products and looking forward to a great partnership uh, for enabling event streaming use cases at Lowe's. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.